So this is the TikTok E from Unihertz. And this has a secondary screen that I guess you can look at. All right, guys, let's start with the unboxing of the uh, Unihertz TikTok E. So um, simple white box. I'm just going to open it up and see what we have here. And what do we have in here? Let's see. So we have a pin popper. And oh, there's a screen protector. Very, that's actually quite nice. They give you a screen protector in the box. And here we have a warranty guide. And finally, a user manual, which yeah, is kind of useless. So put this aside first. And here we have the cell phone. It's kind of big, actually. Uh, must put this aside first and then we'll take a look at the cell phone later see what else we have in this box here uh, we have a charger and then we have a USB C cable oh there's also a headphone jack as well so I'm just gonna put this back in here because just regular stuff and we'll look at the phone itself all right so um, I was actually wondering why this phone was so big but then I realized oh it actually comes with a case as well so I'm just gonna take this off so we can look at the phone. But in the meantime, I'll show you what the case is like as well. It's actually a pretty decent quality case. It's obviously not super expensive, but it'll do the job, right? It'll protect your phone and the, uh, the top of the uh, case will actually protect the screen as well. There's a lip over there, so that's pretty good. Okay, so this is the phone itself. As you can see, there is that very large secondary screen here. On the back, there are your two cameras. You also have a LED screen and then, or sorry, LED uh, flash. And then here there's like a textured, uh, I don't know what you call it in the middle, but I think that's pretty useful because when you're holding it, you usually have a finger or two in the middle. So that textured really helps you keep a grip of the phone as well. Uh, the phone's pretty well built. It feels pretty good. I believe this is plastic on the back. So that's pretty uh, normal here plastic on the back and on the front we have the screen but let's look at the sides first and here you can see that this is a fairly rugged phone because you'll see that there are actually um, screws in the side over here and on the side we have two um, volume buttons as well as the power button and this is actually a fingerprint sensor as well and on this side we actually have the sim tray and we have two extra buttons that you can I guess program to whatever you want but we'll see how that works in the phone itself and on the bottom, we have a USB-C connector. Um, I'm guessing that's a mic. And then we have some speakers. And then up top here, we have, I think that's an IR blaster, actually. So that's pretty interesting. An IR blaster. I believe that's a mic as well. So we'll see. But let's turn the phone on and see what we got. So um, I've set up the phone a little bit. And I'll just let you know that turning the phone on and off actually takes very, very long. This thing's been sitting on the screen for like, what, 30 seconds now, and it's still going. So we'll see how long it takes to actually go all the way to the home screen. All right, so that took the phone about a minute and a half to two minutes to actually boot all the way up. And this is after me having set up everything already. So this is not the first time it's, you know, booting up. Um, so that's pretty long uh, to be expected, though, because this does have the Helio P3 MediaTek Helio P35 processor, which is a pretty old processor. I think it was released in 2018, so it's not very fast. Um, yeah, so I took some time to set up the phone, and as you can see, um, bezels around the phone are actually fairly small for a phone that's, um, I guess you could say, rugged. Uh, the screen itself looks pretty good. This is an LCD display. Um, it is a little bit slow, as you can see. So I'm going to swipe left and right. So like here's not so bad, right? But then when you swipe this way. So very, very slight amount of stutter. And when you swipe down, you can see there's the, like the animations are a little bit not so smooth. And it basically chugs really quickly. So it, it might be smooth for a while, but then you open up an app and it might, uh, it might slow down. So I'm just going to close everything and I'll show you what it's like to open apps on this. Like that. That's not super fast. Let's open, let's say, uh, YouTube. Also not super fast either. So let's go to, let's say, uh, YouTube Music. Actually, I haven't opened this yet. So let's go back to Gmail. Gmail's a bit faster because uh, Gmail's fairly light. Uh, Google Maps. Uh, 
clear, clear, clear. So yeah, as you can see, it's not like a super slow phone, but it's also not super fast either. Um, I'm going to show you right now what the screen is like, because the screen itself is actually not super bad for a phone like this. Okay, so this screen here is a 720p display. So um, it's not the highest resolution display, but in terms of colors, it's actually pretty decent. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, I think for a budget phone, this is probably the best combination of resolution to uh, color reproduction that you can find. Because yes, the resolution is lower than usual. But even for me, I didn't notice it a lot in terms of the resolution. It's like 7, 720p-ish. Um, but the actual um, color reproduction is quite good. Obviously, it suffers a little bit from the lower resolution but otherwise the color here is a uh, pretty good so yeah um 60 hertz it's not a 90 hertz uh, display or 120 hertz and in terms of maximum brightness it does get pretty bright so let me show you how bright it gets and as you can see you can see it chug chugging a little bit um so that's even brighter uh that's about i think like 300 350 nits so respectable but not um, overly crazy all right, so let's test out the speakers on this. We have one mono speaker at the bottom. Um, speaker quality here is pretty average. It's nothing special. Um, it is a cheap phone, so you can't really expect too much out of it, but it will do the job. So let's listen to it. It's pretty loud as well. So as you can hear, it's decent, uh, but still nothing special. Okay, um, battery life here actually is very good, obviously, because the P35 is a very efficient chipset. Um, it doesn't draw a lot of power, and this does have a very, very big battery as well. It has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. So with this one, I could get, you know, three days of battery life, no problem on this. You know, something like 10 hours of screen on time no issue because the battery is huge and it's a pretty efficient chipset i mean i shouldn't say efficient because it's not very fast so uh, efficient is not the right word it just doesn't draw a lot of power because it's not super fast so that's the battery life on this phone so talking about the fingerprint sensor that's on the side uh, it works decently but it doesn't always register like for example i registered this over here but it's not working but if you use your thumb then it works pretty well. As you can see, I put my thumb on there and it works, so it works pretty well. A Little bit slow, like a bit of a um, delay, but that's, prob that's because of the chipset, I believe, as well. So you tap, for example, like this, and that works decently. So you've not only have to tap it, but you gotta tap it kind of in the right place and at a certain amount of time, and if you do it right, it's decent. So um not much to complain about there um, on the back is probably the most i guess the selling point of this uh, phone which is a display on the back and this display on the back you can actually change it as well um, and you can swipe for example and start playing music there's a compass which you can use as well or a level a compass and a level and then there's a camera that you can tap and open um, and then of course you can get notifications as well if you swipe up and down uh it's not a new innovation, but at the same time, um, I got this comment from someone who saw this phone. They said, they, they looked at this and they kind of said, what's the point of this? And I thought the same thing. I, I, I don't see a point of this, right? Because if, like, if you put a, your phone on the ground, for example, like this, right? Uh, sure, you can see what's going on over here, whatever. Okay, cool. But you might as well just put your phone up like this, and then you can turn your phone on and see exactly what's going on. Uh, so I don't really see much point to uh, this this small display at the back. And I I know it's a selling point of this phone, but I don't I don't see a point. I don't see a point to this uh, to this back uh, display over here. So in terms of these buttons, you can program them to do stuff. For example, like. You can actually just program them to, you know, press long, I think, or you press this one. Uh, I thought I programmed it to do something. Uh, actually, I think 
I think these buttons lost the functionality, but let me show you what I mean. So I actually um, programmed these buttons here. Uh, let's see. I, I, I programmed the buttons to do stuff. So uh, let's say we go here. Um, shortcut settings. Function one key, programmable media key, yeah. And function two key is a PTT key. So let's go back here and we'll just uh, modify that. Uh, you can also just go shortcut and you can do things, for example, like short press, open, long press, open flashlight. So that's what I had it programmed as, right? Long press, open flashlight, but it doesn't work. And that's actually one of the things I wanted to show you as well. These buttons only work when the phone is on. So phone's on. <laughs> it doesn't work either. Let me say phone's on. Here we go. So let's try it off as well. Oh no, it does work off. Never mind. Never mind. I was wrong. So it does work when it's off. So that's actually fairly useful. Um, and of course, you can program it to do other things. But for me, flash is probably one of the most useful things because many people use their phones as flashlight. So, yeah. Um, yeah. The good thing about this is the software is very, very non-bloated. So you don't get a lot of bloat on this phone. Um, the only thing is the UI is obviously a little bit different, right? It's, it doesn't look so much like stock Android. A little bit changed. Um, stuff looks a little bit chunky like this, for example. It's very... It's very blobby, so um, that I think that's up to your personal preference as well. Oops. Yep. Okay, so um, gaming-wise, this phone is obviously very slow. You can't really play many intense games on this phone. Um, Polytopia is actually a really fun game, but it's very not intense. So there's there's a uh, you know this phone will run it just well. It'll run really simple games really easily, um, and this is one of them, right? Like you run this and it'll run pretty well you don't have to worry about um, um like frame rates and whatnot so that being said i also tried out genshin impact and it was not very good let me show you what i mean so one reason you don't want to play genshin impact on this phone is because of the frame rate which you'll see in a little bit but also because of the load time so i downloaded a 30 megabyte <laughs> um uh, update on genshin impact it took like 10 seconds but then it took four and a half minutes to unpack everything and load everything and now it's about a minute and a half to actually load into the game and it's still not even done yet so we'll see how long that takes but uh and you'll see the frame rate in the game is approximately 15 frames per second so definitely not playable at least um yeah but i mean this has a nice big screen so it would be nice to play some games on it but um it's not it's not super fast there we go so as you can see very slow so yep you can see the lag there um, but yeah, so this this phone is not for heavy gaming either. One of the reasons why this phone is so slow is also because it only has 4 gigs of RAM. So whenever you load too many things, this thing gets really slow. Um, the last thing we'll talk about is the camera. And the camera is probably the one place that I'm actually surprised the most because the camera is actually pretty good on this phone. I don't know what they did. They must have some really good software optimization because the camera here is like good. Like it's... I would say at least it's out of the it's out of the league of what I would expect a phone like this to cost, which is actually quite surprising. I was not expecting that at all. Um, obviously, this phone is not without its uh, drawbacks, and one of those is sometimes if you take a picture and the the color variations are too much, it'll look a little bit washed out or it'll look a little bit muted. So that's probably the biggest thing. Selfie camera is. Yeah whatever it's fine it's it's okay and of course the weakness of this type of phone is of course the low light capabilities as well um so that's probably one of the weakest links um in the camera of this phone but otherwise very good camera i'm very very impressed okay so um let's conclude uh this phone is gonna cost below 200 dollars. i don't know how much below because that actually makes a difference um is it 
I don't know, is it um, 199 or is it gonna be 150? Either way, um, if this is a phone that's about 150, you've got other choices out there. For example, you have the Yumi Digi A9 Pro. You can get a, um, what else can you get? You can probably get something else like a um, Redmi Note. No, no, you can't. You, you can get a Poco, a Poco M5. So that'll be about 150 as well. And then if you want, and if you're looking at the $200 range, you can, you can either get a Redmi Note 10 Pro or you can get a Poco M3, I believe. That's the more expensive one. Um, but honestly, the way this is priced, I don't see how this is going to work. I think a lot of money was spent on this camera over here. Um, and I, I really think that's probably a very big money sink, at least in terms of this phone. But I don't see any advantage of that. If you like it, yeah, you can get it. Um, just be aware that it, it is a little bit slow because the chipset is a bit older. But otherwise, check it, down, check it out down in the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.